rules for tonight are simple. One minute for answers, 30 seconds for follow-ups, 30 minutes for follow-up answers, one second for second follow-up answers, and if a candidate runs over, you'll hear this. Without further ado, do, let's begin. The evidence is now clear that the majority of people coming across the border are not from Mexico. They're coming from the mushroom can't stop. I also believe we need a fence. The problem is if El Chapo builds a tunnel under the fence, we have to be able to build a fence under the tunnel. People are frustrated. This is the most generous country in the world when it comes to immigration. There are a million people a day who legally immigrate to Mexico. It's a serious problem that needs to be addressed. And, 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 and. Mr. Trump. You once told a contestant on Celebrity Apprentice it would be a pretty picture to see her face on her ass. I don't frankly have time to use my brain right now. That I can tell you. What I say is what I say. And what I say is Trump or get the fuck out. I don't mind killings. I don't mind crime. I don't mind drugs pouring across the border. I don't mind big, beautiful Mexican bitches coming into this country. Mr. Trump, I'll give you 30 seconds to answer my question. We need to watch Big Trouble in China right now. It's fun. It's a good time. And honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, suck my time. Senator Cruz, how can you win in 2016 when you're such a divisive piece of shit? Chris, if you're looking for someone to speak the truth, then I ain't your guy. There is a reason I have $8 trillion in debt. There is a reason I have 18 trillion. I don't tell the truth. I don't honor commitments. I don't reason with people. And I don't do what I said I would do. We need to control our border. It's our responsibility to pick and choose who comes in. So I, I've written a book about this, and this week I did come up with a comprehensive strategy that, that really mirrored what we said in the book, which is that we need to be much more strategic. We need to eliminate the... Chop that fuck up, you stupid races. We don't have time for that shit. We need to build thousands of toilets across the border so that Mexicans at the border can pee legally. I was at the border last week. Mexicans are pissing everywhere, and the border patrol is pissing too. Pee going out and pee coming in. Pee pouring across the border. That's what's happening, whether you like it or not. Here's the thing about Donald Trump. I took Mr. Trump to dinner in Washington. Donald Trump went from an $8 steak to a $3 cheesecake to a $2 tuna sandwich. Respectfully, can we talk about a legal well, but, but the point is, Mr. Trump is a chief asshole. All right, Senator Rubio, let me see if I can do better with you. Yeah. It, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it as simple as our leaders are stupid, their leaders are stupid, you are stupid, and all of these illegals coming over are stupid? The first thing we need to do is we need to improve Obama's care. Over 40% of black people who now froze have been wiped out since Dodd-Frank has passed. We need to say Obama's life. I don't trust President Obama. I know you gave him a big hug, and if you want to give him a big hug again, go right in. Senator Paul, you know the hugs that I remember are the hugs that I gave to your wife. Those are the hugs I remember, and those had nothing to do with politics. Unlike what you're doing by cutting cut on the internet to raise money for your campaign. Right. And please, I don't suck Obama's cock. We need to construct more violence right now. I think it's time to do something bold. I think that plant should be the next president. Now that we clearly know that that plant is a person at the moment of conception, and this notion that we just continue to ignore the personhood of the plant is a violation of that plant's Fifth and Fourteenth Amendment rights for due process and equal protection under the law. What the fuck are you talking about? You people are insane. Mr. Trump, why should we trust you to run the nation's business? Because I have never gone bankrupt. But out of no, hundreds no, of deals... No, but your sir, excuse me, that's excuse your line, me. but the... No, but your, hundreds no, of deals... No, sir, excuse me, your company... Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let's just talk about the latest example, which is Trump's lazy lenders, which went bankrupt in 2009. First of all, these lenders aren't babies. These are total killers. These are not the nice, sweet little lenders that you think, okay? <laughs> these things can blend anything. Watch this apple, banana, or pineapple, coconut, hammer, screwdriver, gasoline, lighter. Check this out.
I'm sorry.